Today, we are looking at virtual versus physical manipulatives. During a Build Math Minds members Q&A session, a member asked if it's okay to just have kids working with virtual manipulatives, or if kids need the physical manipulatives to ensure they are working in the concrete level. As I went digging into the research, I found that this is not a new concern in 2020, 2021. In fact, in 2016, Julie Sarama and Douglas Clements wrote a chapter in the book, International Perspectives on Teaching and Learning Mathematics with Virtual Manipulatives, that can shed some light on this concern that educators are currently having in 2021. As I read the quote from the book, I'm going to leave out all the references to the research that Sarah and Clements are drawing their claims from, mainly because there are so many that it is hard to read the content and the references and still get the meaning of the research shared. So to see all the references for this information, I will have that on the transcript over at buildmathminds.com 88. All right, on page 73, they write, In a similar vein, it is not just symbols that are too often learned by rote. Students often learn to use manipulatives by rote. They perform the correct steps, but have learned little more about the manipulation of quantities. One student used beans and bean sticks to model place value, but used the one bean as a 10 and the bean sticks with 10 beads on it as a one. In a similar study, kindergarten students could not use simple cubes to help them solve simple addition and subtraction problems. They did not have a strategy to use the cubes to solve the problems. Using a number line was even more difficult. These and other studies support an essential point. Although they provide support and mediation, manipulatives do not carry mathematical ideas directly to the learner. Although kinesthetic experience can enhance perception and thinking, understanding does not travel through the fingertips and up the arm. So, what they start off the chapter explaining is that it is more about how we use the manipulatives as part of our instruction than if the manipulatives are virtual or physical. When we help kids see the connection between all three models, concrete, representational, and abstract, we help them build their math minds and not just teach them to follow steps and procedures with a layer of manipulatives added in. Instead, we should do what I call the sweet spot of the CRA approach. That's when kids do concrete, representational, and abstract together to help them build the connections between all three. I'll link to a video training I've done that will give you more information about all three and why it's so important to build the connections between them so that you can go learn some more about that if you want to. On page 74, Sarama and Clements do reference research that says using virtual manipulatives isn't bad for students. In fact, it might actually be better. There were many reasons why, but I found this one to be particularly interesting. Qualitative evidence indicated that the virtual manipulatives helped students because they were easier and faster to use and because they provided immediate and specific feedback. That is an excellent pro for virtual manipulatives. Often when kids are using physical manipulatives, we aren't right there beside each child to help them along the way. But the way some virtual manipulatives are set up gives students that feedback instantly that they don't get when they're using physical manipulatives. So to sum it up, it doesn't matter if you use physical or virtual manipulatives. Whichever you use, maybe even both, just make sure you help build the connections between the concrete, representational, and abstract. They go on throughout the chapter detailing what is truly meant for something to be concrete in math, along with different levels of concreteness, and so as always, I encourage you to go read the chapter for yourself. 
It is available to be read online for free, and I'll link to it over at buildmathminds.com slash 88, as well as some of my favorite virtual manipulative sites. 